Hey guys, it's Josh. Tonight I'm working on adjusting the valves on this 180. I didn't plan on going this far, but I already got the tank out. I got the bracket that the tank sits on out, the tank support. I just took the valve covers off to replace the gasket as long as I was there. And then I noticed some of these tolerances in these valves are way too much. So I should probably go ahead and get those adjusted. I got the book right here for some of this information. It's kind of nice to have. Go to the first page, the firing order on this is one, three, four, two. And then I'm gonna go to find my injector page. I've had this open how many times already? But right now, number four is rocking, uh, which means there's pressure on both valves. Number one is on the compression stroke. You can see there's a little bit of movement in that one, not much. There's movement in that one. This one, here's the one I'm concerned about. You can actually hear it. But I had to go through all that, crank it, and showed you the fire in order. I had to find number one and then come over here in the inspection hole. Find my flashlight and show you. I am on top dead center. I don't know if it'll focus and actually say TDS. You see the line and the indicator on the back of the block. This is a diesel. It's the same motor as 175. This is a 180. If it had a gas motor, the timing marks would be on the crank pulley itself. There's not a whole lot in the book about adjusting the valves. I have two diagrams here. With top dead center flywheel timing marks aligned, which I am. And number one piston on the compression stroke. Adjust the following valves. So it would be number one. The exhaust on number two the exhaust on number three it's a little confusing if i'm out here working with it in the book because this is the indication for the front of the tractor i'll just flip the hook around so i'm working off of this image so i can adjust one two three four valves right now and this is the one valve I was having an issue with. Maybe this will help with some of my smoking. Uh, just out of curiosity, I went ahead and checked it with the feeler gauge. It's supposed to be 0 0.012 cold, which is just a cold. And I'm at, well, my feeler gauges look like the, I found them on the bottom of the lake, but this is what I could find. It's 25, I'm, I'm, I'm at 30 thousandths, so that's definitely not good. I don't know if I have a number 12 on here, you can barely, it's barely readable. And it's probably best not to work with dirty feeler gauges. 0.004. You guys don't need to watch me struggle either. But if you found me, I'm sure you're already at that point. And count these off. pretty 
be thick. I'll find it here. That took way longer than it should have. Uh, just invest in a good set of feeler gauges, which I'm going to have to do. I found the point zero one two. I'm just going to go to number one. That one is. That one's almost tight. Number two is tight. This one's way too loose, and this one's ungodly loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those tightened up. Uh, it's just a 14 millimeter wrench and a screwdriver. They're pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go through and get this done, get the four done, and then I have to find top dead center on number four. Get to number four. Then you can adjust the intake on number two, number three, and then you adjust both on number four, so. I'm going to go ahead and do this and struggle a little bit and hopefully we get this done tonight. It's supposed to rain at some point, so I'd like to get this closed up today and hopefully this will help me quite a bit too. That might have had something to do with the raw fuel smell. I'm sure the injectors were bad, the tips didn't look good, but these valves not being intolerance isn't helping anything either so i'm gonna go struggle for a bit i'll see you guys later thanks for watching uh hopefully i helped you with at least getting set up in the correct position uh i'm gonna go ahead and adjust these valves swap it adjust the valves or crank it over adjust the valves again and hopefully i'm good only time will tell. Uh, I just really like to get this together, get it out of the yard, and be able to use it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. We'll catch you next time.